The ATGL has evolved over the past several years. Here are some of the improvements. This is the old comfort pallet, and this is the new air transportable galley lavatory. General specifications for the ATGL Length 104.3 inches Depth 84.5 inches Height 80 inches Basic weight 3,200 pounds dry ATGL is mounted on a standard 88 by 108 inch pallet that is compatible with existing and developmental aircraft rails, rollers, and material handling equipment, i.e. K loaders, forklifts, etc. Electrical power is provided by the Aircraft Utility AC Electrical System or Facility Generator Power. The ATGL contains a galley and two laboratory compartments. The ATGL when installed in the C5, C17, C130, or C-141 aircraft provides two meals, one snack, and 15 hours of lavatory facilities for 160 people. The ATGL contains three air-cooled refrigerators. Each refrigerator holds five wire baskets which together have the capacity to hold approximately 106 meals and 53 snacks. The ATGL contains two convection ovens. The oven has the capability of heating 36 frozen dinners, 18 in each cavity, in approximately 40 minutes. The oven is a double door, double cavity unit with integral oven temperature and heat sensing control. The ATGL contains two coffee makers. The coffee maker will provide 48 ounces of drip brewed coffee in a 2 to 4 minute time frame. Hot and cold water are available from a spigot mounted on the coffee maker. The coffee maker assembly is made up of a rail assembly and the coffee maker. The rail assembly is permanently mounted in the galley and the electrical and water supplies are connected to the rail assembly. The coffee maker slides into the rail assembly and when fully inserted, makes the water and electrical connections. A rail walk is provided to secure the coffee maker to the rail assembly. The ATGL contains a potable water tank. The tank will hold 39 gallons of potable water. The ATGL contains two laboratories. Located on the drain side of the waste tank are two indicators that acknowledge when the tank has either been charged or is full. The amber colored indicator illuminates when the tank has reached a pre-charged level. The red indicator illuminates when the tank is full and requires servicing. The waste tank has a capacity of 80 gallons. Markings and indicators may not appear on all ATGL units. Some units are testing new items for future use on the ATGL. The galley contains the following items. Coffee makers. Stowage compartments. Control panel. Ovens, 
countertop, auxiliary work shelves, refrigerators, trash door, trash receptacle, and galley drawers. The left side, as viewed when facing forward, contains the following. Refrigerator exhaust closeout panel, toilet access panel, fold-out steps, catwalk extension, and tarp storage door. The laboratory contains the following items. Laboratory door. Emergency oxygen system. Smoke detector. Assist handle. Toilet base, paper cup dispenser, potable water tank, attendant call button, toilet flush button. Toilet paper dispenser, trash door, mirror, lavatory cabinet door, trash door and access panel. Wash basin, and paper towel dispenser. The right side, as viewed when facing forward, contains the following. Waste tank indicators, Human Waste Dump Valve, Human Waste Drain Hose, Human Waste Tank Rinse, External Power Receptacle, and External Power Cord. Top area contains the following items. Tie down rails, assist handle, and potable water tank access cover. The following controls and indicators are located on the power panel. Laboratory emergency light flashes when either of the laboratory emergency call buttons are depressed. Number one main, main circuit breaker, CB1, along with CB2, provides overload protection for the ATGL. Number one main indicator, indicator illuminates when CB1 is depressed. Bright dim switch provides two levels of intensity control for the galley lights. Number one oven circuit breaker provides overload protection for oven number one. 
Number one, BVGE DISP circuit breaker provides overload protection for beverage dispenser, coffee maker number one. Number one, REFR circuit breaker provides overload protection for refrigerator number one. Number two, REFR circuit breaker provides overload protection for refrigerator number two. Number three, REFR circuit breaker provides overload protection for refrigerator number three. LAV left circuit breaker provides overload protection for the left laboratory. LAV right circuit breaker provides overload protection for the right laboratory. Galley LT circuit breaker provides overload protection for the galley lights. Galley lights, the galley light switch is pressed to activate the galley lights. OXY SYS circuit breaker provides overload protection for the emergency oxygen system. Water SYS circuit breaker provides overload protection for the water system and the water heater. Water pump circuit breaker provides overload protection for the water pump. Number two main indicator, indicator illuminates when CB2 is closed. Number two main, main circuit breaker along with CB1 provides overload protection for the ATGL. Two BVGE DISP circuit breaker provides overload protection for the beverage dispenser coffee maker number two. Number two oven circuit breaker provides overload protection for oven number two. The following controls and indicators are located on the coffee maker. On off turns power on and off to the coffee maker. A red LED indicates power on. Warmer turns warming pad on and off. A red LED indicates power on. Brew. Turns brew cycle on and off. Hot water. Pressing and holding this switch will dispense hot water from the tap on the front of the brewer. Cold water. Pressing and holding this switch will dispense cold water from the tap on the front of the brewer. The following controls and indicators are located on the oven. Timer has a range from 0 to 60 minutes. Turns power on when rotated shuts power off when time has elapsed. Power on light illuminates when power is on. Heater on light illuminates when heating elements are heating. Cycles on and off when oven is maintaining heat. Temperature control, used to select temperatures of 180 
250 or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The following controls and indicators are located on the refrigerator. The star symbol allows the operator to view the set point. The star and delta up symbols allow the operator to increase the set point to the preset maximum temperature of 43 degrees Fahrenheit. The star and delta down symbols allow the operator to decrease the set point to the preset minimum temperature of 33 degrees Fahrenheit. The following indicators are located on the waste tank. The amber colored indicator illuminates when the tank has reached precharged level. The red indicator illuminates when the tank is full and requires servicing. Closed drain valve. Closed main water valve. Service potable water tank to a minimum level of 20 gallons. Service waste tank with a minimum of 11 gallons or until precharged light is illuminated. Open main water valve. Keep cleaners in approved safety containers and in minimum quantities. Some cleaners and or chemicals may have an effect on skin, eyes, and respiratory tract. Observe manufacturer's warning label and current safety directives. The following instructions are to power up the ATGL. Prior to connecting ATGL external power cables to aircraft, ensure aircraft circuit breakers are open or electrical power is removed from the aircraft. For circuit breaker locations, refer to applicable technical orders. The air transportable galley lavatory must be grounded prior to applying electrical power. If ATGL is installed on aircraft, check AFTO form 781 prior to applying electrical power to unit. Prior to connecting ATGL external power cables to aircraft, ensure aircraft circuit breakers are open or electrical power is removed from the aircraft.
Prior to applying electrical power to ATGL, ensure comfort pallet circuit breakers located on the circuit breaker panel in the forward compartment are closed. For specific location of circuit breaker panel, refer to applicable technical orders. Check AFTO form 244 or 245 for open discrepancies. Apply electrical power to the ATGL. Close circuit breakers. The following instructions are to operate the galley lights. The press galley light switch. Toggle the bright dim switch to obtain desired light intensity. The following are instructions to operate the coffee maker. To press on off switch to energize the coffee maker. To press hot water switch to purge air from the system. Place the coffee bag into the brew tray with the seam downward and running from front to rear. Note, it is essential that the sensing probes extend into the coffee server to prevent overfilling. Place the empty coffee server on the warming pad and ensure the sensing probes extend into the opening of the coffee server. Depress the retaining lever and install the brew tray. Depress the warmer switch and the brew switch to start brew cycle. Note a red light emitting diode, LED, located in the cold water switch will illuminate if reservoir is not full. If cold water is required, hold container under spigot and press and hold cold water switch until desired amount of water is in the container. Note, when hot water is taken from the spigot during the brew cycle, brewing will stop and will not start again until the water is at the correct temperature. When hot water reaches operating temperature, the hot water switch will illuminate. If hot water is required, hold container under spigot and press and hold the hot water switch. When operation of the coffee maker is complete, the following steps should be accomplished. Turn off warmer switch and on off switch. Empty and rinse brew tray. Empty and rinse coffee server. Press retaining lever down and install empty brew tray and coffee server. 
The following are instructions to operate the oven. Oven doors and food trays become extremely hot during operation. Use caution when working in and around operating ovens, as serious burns could result. Use protective gloves and other suitable protective equipment. Position the trays in the rack and slide the rack into a cavity of the oven. Close door and turn secondary latch to secure door. Set temperature control to the desired temperature, 180, 250, or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Turn the timer to the desired time period, 0 to 60 minutes. Verify that the red light, power on, and the amber light, heater on, illuminate and the fan is running. Verify oven shuts down when timer reaches zero. The following are instructions to operate the refrigerator. The use of dry ice in the ATGL is prohibited. Gases released by dry ice corrode and seize the fan modules that provide cooling air. Ensure temperature control indicator indicates 38 plus or minus 5 degrees Fahrenheit. The following procedures provide operating instructions for specialized items located in the lavatory area. Emergency call button. When the emergency call button is depressed, the lavatory emergency light on the control panel flashes. In the event of loss of cabin pressure, an emergency oxygen mask will automatically extend down from the oxygen container.